and local home is making sure it is decked out in the spookiest decor. Yes, Molly Real is live with a bone chilling tour this morning. Hi, Molly. <laughs> Yes, you could call it bad to the bone, couldn't you? You know what I love about skeleton puns, you guys? What's that? What's that? They're they're humorous. Uh, yes. But I'm yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you know what? I couldn't do it without Jack and Debbie Spooner. Come on down, Jack and Debbie. Uh, these are the creative. Maybe disturbed minds. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Behind this spectacular house along Sierra Boulevard in Roseville, uh, Jack W, you said you have been doing this for 20 some years. Yes. And what inspires you to do something like this? Well, mainly the kids, the expressions on their face. Yes, everybody has fun. The expressions on their face. What is that usually like? <laughs> Wide-eyed, maybe a few tears in their eyes as well. <laughs> sometimes, and then sometimes they go scooting past the the house real fast. Yeah. When they're on bicycles or or things, and then other ones just stop and. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but right around us there are these uh, decorations that just kind of jump out at you. And I've been here for about 20 minutes. It happens about once every three minutes, and every single time I jump, we're like, okay. Remember, watch your language if it happens, right? Uh, when you do something like this, you have to ask, what do the neighbors think? They love it. They love, they love it. to have they the kids it. come by. Uh, but you do have just next door a two year old neighbor. Yes. Yes, and he loves it. He has to come check it out two, three times a day. Come see it in the daylight and make sure yes. it's okay. And then what do you do with all these decorations when it's not Halloween? We have a shed out back, and in the garage, we put everything in and store it. I'd love to walk into that shed not knowing what was in there. Dark scratch, and light, yeah. scratch that. I would not love that. <laughs> now, as we said, you've been doing this for about 20 years, and every year you like to mix it up a little bit. Uh, but you do have a very creepy new decoration. Let's go take a little tour over here. Jack, who is well? That's a guy. Hello, Wolfie. sir. That's Wolfie. Hi, Wolfie. Wolfie. A oh, good boy. And we got the gargoyle. He's new. He's new. We got him up today. He tried to make it look like he's coming out of a cave. And he's got the two gargoyles beside him. <laughs> Little baby gargoyles. You j how long does it take you to set all this up? It takes a couple of weeks, and then it's kind of ongoing. You've got to move things around and look at it and Adjust put the things. lighting up. Yeah. The lighting is the biggest thing, putting the lighting out for it make it look good at dark. And Jack says he still has a whole box on the porch uh, ready to decorate just a little bit more because obviously this is not quite enough, right? Uh, you know, I want Wolfie to know if he likes bones, there's plenty of them on the lawn. <laughs> Don't you know, guy? Yeah? <laughs> Oh, that's a good boy. He just wants some scratches. Now, clearly, this house is full of tricks, but also treats. They've got the good candy. A Kit Kat, peanut M&Ms. You guys know how to do it. Uh, Reese, Reese are the best. I like these. <laughs> All right. Hey, make no bones about it. This might be, it's just be the creepiest house in Roseville. You should definitely stop by Halloween. They would, they're dying to see you. Bye. <laughs> Sacramento. Uh, we'll be back after this short break. <laughs>